Hello and welcome. This is a Tech World tutorial. Well, I shouldn't say a tutorial, but it's a new thing I want to start, and it's called, I guess, just uh, browse the internet and find cool internet software. It can either be uh, free, uh, freeware, open source software, or it can be stuff that you pay for. Now, we'll try to find stuff that's relatively cheap and more people can afford it. Um, throughout this video, I'll try talking. I got braces, so it's you might hear me slur some words, so I'll just try to make them out the best you can. But anyway, I want to start this. I haven't typed quickly yet about it, but I will. I want to just start maybe every week, come out with new cool internet software. It could be anything from security to any desktop widgets. Anything cool that we might that you want to share. Um, if you, uh, the viewers, have anything cool that you want us to show or share with us, go ahead and email us at asiantech at gmail.com or post any comments. Anyway, today I'll be showing you three 3D desktop, kind of like 3D desktops. Um, you want to be like Ubuntu Linux or any other Linux with the 3D desktop, um, with the cube and everything. Here's a few software that I have that will do that. Now, it's not as good as the X server, graphical interface and everything. But no, it's pretty cool, if, especially if you have to keep Windows and don't want to switch over to Linux. Um, the first one I, I want to show you is the 3D Cube. It's called, uh, I, can't, I can't pronounce it that right, but it's YDM 3D, so YDM, I think. Um, you'll come to a forms page if you go to this link. I've already fire scanned, so I'd go to this link I give you. You can go to the download miner. I can also give you this link. It's kind of more of a direct. I'm just going to go ahead and hit download. This will come in a zip file. As you can see, I have all of them in a the little corner. YDM 3D. I have it extracted. I'm going to go ahead and run it and show you just some of the things it can do. Now, you can run all these applications I'm showing you at once today. Depends on the speed of your computer. <coughs> Give this just a minute or two to load up. It'll have all my previous settings. You can mess around with these if you want. Set your hot keys, um, set your backgrounds, if you want it to start with Windows or not. I'm going to click OK, and it's going to load in all the settings I had previous. I have my hot key, key set already. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this with the Camtasia recorder or not. But I am switching my desktops. As you see, here's one. You have four desktops. You you can make them transparent. It's really cool. It's like the Ubuntu desktop. Now, it takes kind of like a picture, so you don't see, like, if you have YouTube videos or something playing. Those to stop because I, I think they'll wear it on your. It won't be as. Uh, you need a high performance card. But it is pretty cool if you want multiple desktops and you want to store stuff or just for the heck of it, the cube. It's really easy to use, especially if you have a mouse with the scroll and everything. You can configure it. Um, that's available for free. These should all be freeware. And it comes in a zip file. The second one I wanted to show you, which I'll give you the download link in a minute here. I cannot pronounce the names of a lot of these, but it's called a it's M A D O A T E 2.0. Man, I can't pronounce it right. I'll give you the download links in the video description. Now, see all these may look and say, "Oh, there's a registry thing. This might not be safe." I have scanned it. It hasn't given me problems, and it does what it's supposed to. Now, one of these, you want to go to this one first, the config. There's a readme that I'll tell you all also. Um, it will actually start up the config. I see this came up, this little thing. We'll find out that about that in a minute. Since I've already used this, my settings have been saved. The first time you run it, you should get this. Go ahead and mess around with the settings if you want. I'm going to turn these down to low for now. <laughs> um, you can do your transition, zoom in, hotkeys, which I already have set up. Go ahead and click OK. And the cool thing about this is if you have a hotkey or see this button, you push it. You get the windows that can be either, I mean, uh, let's try this here. You can throw them around, push them up, roll them, do whatever you want with them, put them out of the way. Makes them really small, say if I open a few other ones here. And let me try to remember my hot key I picked. I think it was like control 3. It'll put them all automatically in to a 3D form. Do whatever you want, mess around with these, pretty fun to play with. Organize a little. Have all your videos at the bottom, so not taking up space. I can open my Skype list and everything here, and pop that down. 
it's really fun to mess with. I think these are pretty cool. You don't need a high performance computer since mine's not the best. Um, if you're running a lot of other stuff, I'm sure some of you have already seen these before. Um, there's one other one that you do need a high high performance graphics card. Anyway, you can run these in the cube interface all at one time. As you can see, I don't know if the screen anchor will get it or not. But you can run a thing all at the same time. No problems. It it may be a little laggy for an older computer, especially if you have a lot of windows open. Um, the next one I'm going to show you, which uh, I did mention takes up a lot of your memory and you need a good graphics card, so I'm going to actually close out the other things that are running. Oh, when you close out the cube, it, even if you have all your other desktops saved, it will put you back in whatever applications are open to come on. Oops, see they all come back. I think that's kind of nice. Because if you don't want to keep it, all your settings will come back and everything. So, I hope my Skype list won't go away. I'm going to also close the 3D so all my windows come back. This next one is pretty fun. If you want to uh, mess around with virtual icons, this should be free. I'll give you the website description. I'll also pop it up on here first. It's the Shock Utility or Shock Desktop 3D. As you can see, there's a little description here on their site. You can download it as a setup, or you can do a zip. I did the zip because it's much easier and you don't have to install anything. As you see in this little preview, you get to mess around with uh, mess around with little virtual icons. Now, my computer won't do the, won't play it very well. Uh, it's pretty laggy, especially with the record on now. But when I hit the ground, you can start throwing them around, and so even launch your icon applications. You see, mine's really bad. I don't know what I can do about this. I see they're bouncing around there. You can pick, say, I want to pick up Google Earth here. I can throw it. We I look at Skype. You can just take them and select, lasso them, and throw them around. You can launch them. You can put them any way you want. It's no, no really point to this, but it is fun to mess around with. You can do go to your settings and change the render and the colors and everything else you want about this. It's pretty fun. Pretty fun just to mess around. Like I said, I'm um, doing the cool 3D stuff. You can change your speed and everything. This one's not that fun for me because my computer can't handle it, but it's just fun just to mess around with icons. I'm going to go ahead and exit. And once you exit, all your settings can go back the way they were. I have wire scan these. And speaking of wire scan, let's go to the security thing I wanted to show you, which is McAfee Site Advisor. Go ahead and close all these. You can download it at SiteAdvisor.com. It is free, and it's, it uh, it's free, and you can have it for Firefox, uh, kind of a widget or Firefox extension, which is really nice because it integrates really easy. Um, you can find out more information on this. Uh, do a little Google search for a minute here. Uh, sure, let's do tech or there's something, something of that matter. When you do a Google search, do Google. Oops, see, I spelled it wrong. Anyway, McAfee Set Advisor will automatically, I know this, start finding like Wikipedia. If it's a good site, you'll get a check next to it. If it's a bad site or got to be careful site, it will have a different color. But it's really nice, especially if you. Go on some sites where you have downloads. If I typed in downloads, I'm sure I'd get a bunch of bad ones too. Good and bad. Let's see if I could find something. See, you just want to make sure your site you're going to is good. The link somebody sent you is good. I don't know if it integrates with Skype. I did see it was on Yahoo, but it is really handy to have. I would oh, see. As you see in the corner on the ads here, just noticed it download repair and if you go to that X it tells you why it's been flagged um, how many people like what people said use caution and how many pop-ups it has so I tells you you don't want to go to that site that's my security pick and my 3d desktop picks um, they're really fun to mess around with and McAfee is really handy to have um, I hope you liked it I hope we can have more of these come out um, this is kind of my first video, and my next videos are coming soon. And I hope to see you, hope to have more videos out soon. Thanks for watching.